So I'm sitting down here today on this bench backwards just because I want to get out of the wind so I can talk to the camera for a bit. Anyway, uh, I wanted to do a comparison today. I want to compare the GoPro Hero 5 Black and the Huawei P20 Pro uh, video camera specifically. This is obviously in my pocket all the time, or at least it should be, unless I forget. Beautiful little camera, uh, and I think you'll see from some of the footage there that it's great insofar as it focuses on things, like it focuses on the camera here with the, and the background out of focus, and that's beautiful. The GoPro doesn't do that. GoPro is one of those cameras that's like a fixed in-hole camera that has everything in focus. Whereas this thing, you can vary the focus. One thing that does annoy me a little bit about this, and I've experienced it a couple of times, is that it's billed as a smart camera. And that means if it's looking at trees, it varies the camera settings to make trees more vibrant in color and whatnot. If it sees a face, it locks onto the face. And it's very hard to get it to stop locking onto the face. Like in this video where I was in a hotel room looking at the Sydney Harbour Bridge locked onto my face I couldn't get the damn thing to lock onto the bridge but other than that a few little foibles and you can do manual settings in here as well so you know it's not that big a deal uh, I just rather it wasn't so clever I want to be the clever one in this relationship but in choosing the phone I specifically picked this phone because of the reviews it had for its camera setups. Now I'm not going to go into technicalities of the camera setup because I don't really know enough about it at this stage. Walking around like this I'm not very obtrusive because uh, lots of people are using selfie cameras these days so you can uh, talk away to your camera and only the odd person looks at you strangely. <laughs> But yeah, so, you know, having a camera in your pocket all the time is quite handy. But I could say the same for the GoPro, of course. Because the GoPro mounted on that uh, clippy on -y, squeezy thing is very handy, very versatile. That said, it is very big compared to just the camera by itself, which I can stick in a pocket. So each of these cameras has its good points and its bad points. In both cases, the good points far outweigh the bad points. And having two cameras, I've got great versatility. Might just go for a little walk now and do some cinematic comparisons to see how the GoPro Hero 5 and the Huawei P20 stack up for quality B-roll footage especially in slow motion that's another thing I want to point out about this P20 my daughter has a Samsung which does 920 frames a second super slow-mo and that's you know a nice gimmicky sort of thing it's not very practical but the thing with her phone is you can only do that massively super slow-mo on her phone you can't as far as I know select slower no select faster slow mos on here you can on here i can go into slow mo uh, 960 frames a second or 120 frames a second or 240 frames a second So, after reviewing the footage yesterday, uh, I formed some fairly strong opinions about uh, which camera is going to be 
my number one vlogging camera. I'm not going to diss the uh, phone too much um, because it is a good, it is a good phone. It is a good camera phone. But it's not up to speed for as a as a number one vlogger. And you might say to me, well, why am I even comparing a GoPro and a phone in the first place? As cameras, they're not the same. The GoPro is a proper camera, a proper sports camera, whereas the phone, well, it's a phone with a camera in it. This was never about comparing apples and oranges and deciding which was the better camera. This is about me trying to find the best camera for me to use as a regular vlogger. And maybe in the next video I'll even compare the GoPro and the 5D and tell you why the GoPro still wins that fight. And the winner will always be the one that offers me the best balance between picture quality. On the convenience scale, the phone is always going to win because it's in my pocket all the time. Whereas the GoPro, I've got to carry or clip on. So, yeah, it's a little less convenient. But in terms of picture quality, the GoPro is a winner hands down. Oh, and by the way, it's June 21, the shortest day of the year in Australia. What a beauty we've got.